spine, kind of drop your sit bones back um, towards your heels, and then just start to find some length into the spine. If it's available to you, I would say, um, you know, kind of reach your arms up over your head and then kind of just let your um, sit bones drop back towards your heels, kind of melting your heart down towards the floor and taking your knees out a little bit wider, either stacking your hands and resting your forehead on your hands or just allowing your forehead to relax on the mat. And then we'll start today with a couple of cleansing breaths. So inhaling deeply through the nose, allowing your belly to expand outward. Pausing at the top of the in-breath, if that's available. And then open your mouth, big heavy sigh, let the breath out. We'll do that one more time, inhaling deeply through the nose. Pausing at the top of the inhale. Big, heavy sigh. Let the breath go. And just start to shift the breath low into the belly. We're going to inhale and exhale for a three count. So allowing the belly to expand for a count of three as you inhale. And then exhaling for a count of three drawing the navel into the spine. So we're going to do about five breath cycles, three counts in, three counts out. And just paying attention to the sensations that you feel as you make more of a effort for mindful breathing. And after you've finished about five breath cycles in that way, we'll start to gently lengthen the exhale. So your next breath, I invite you to inhale for three and exhale for four. We'll do that one more time, inhaling for three, and then exhaling for four. And then inhaling for three, and exhaling for five. And one more time, inhaling for three, and exhaling for five. And this time we'll inhale for three and exhale for six. And do that again. Inhale for three. Nice long exhale for six. And then do about three more breath cycles with that one to two ratio of inhale to exhale. And as you continue to breathe in that way, once you've completed your third one to two ratio breath, return to one to one breathing and create an intention for your practice today. And then we'll take one more cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose. Big, heavy sigh through the mouth. And then slowly start to make your way up into um, hands and knees, so tabletop. And if it's available to you, tuck the toes under today. And we're gonna start with some mindful rocking from hands to feet. So shifting your weight forward towards your fingertips lengthening the forearms and then back towards your heels stretching out the bottoms of the feet and we're not moving into pain so just go as far as you feel comfortable and can find it a nice gentle stretch so inhaling as you shift forward exhale as you shift back 
just take a few cycles in that way. And if it starts to feel available to you, you can begin to shift your hips as you press back, just kind of getting into the side bodies a little bit more. And just continue that mindful breath, focusing in on drawing in new breath, new air, and releasing anything that's not serving you well today. Relaxing through the face and jaw. And when you feel ready, you can keep those toes tucked under, take the tops of the feet flat, and begin to cycle through cat and cow at your own pace. Inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. You can do this with your eyes opened or closed to kind of tune into the spine as you alternate between these two poses, coming into some extension of the spine as you inhale, and then as you exhale, rounding through the spine, pressing away, engaging the belly. And just about three more cycles at your own pace. Being mindful to keep tension out of your face and jaw. And then we'll finish the cycle that we're on and then come back to that tabletop position. Take the tops of your feet or uncurl your toes if you haven't and just circle out the ankles one direction and then the other direction. And then take the tops of the feet flat in tabletop. Shrug the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale and send your left leg back. Knee is straight and float your right palm. And just pause and breathe. Be in your body. Feel what you feel. Notice where you feel activation, maybe around the belly, the back, the hips. Pause and breathe. If you have that left foot lifted, think about pulling the toes towards your face drawing the belly button in towards your spine. Set your right hand down, maybe just a little bit ahead of your left hand and come over to your right hand and knee, modified half moon. Float that left arm up towards the sky. Imagine pressing into that bottom hand, lifting your leg as it feels available to you. Optional hip opener here. So pulling the heel towards your buttock. Kind of pressing the front of your hip forward, maybe engaging for a quad stretch. Otherwise, for more of a back bend, press the foot into your hand. Being mindful to keep your knee in line with your hip, so not torquing on your foot and ankle. Good, float that top leg all the way back up, float your arm. And then as you exhale, you'll take that stop leg, top leg, big step forward, come into low lunge. A hand on either side of that front foot. And then just kind of play with shifting your weight forward towards the front leg and then backwards, beginning to feel some length into the right hip flexor and the left hamstring. And then we'll take the hands on either side of that front foot, drawing the navel in towards the spine Inhale your left arm back. So reaching your fingertips towards the back wall. Nice gentle twist. Good, deep breath in, float both arms all the way up. Settle into that front knee for a low lunge. Drop your left arm down, reach your right arm up and over, side body stretch. And then as you exhale, come back to center, breathe in both arms up. And then exhale, twist to the right. Wide arms, counter twist. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back to tabletop. And drop the belly, come into cow pose. Exhale, press away into cat. And one more time, inhaling to cow. Exhaling to cat. Finding a neutral spine in tabletop, sending your right leg back, floating your left arm up. So deciding if you wanna keep those, those right toes on the mat or float the leg, cross body balance. 
just like we did on the first side, just noticing what you feel. Maybe there's some asymmetries or differences from side to side, so just being aware. Stay with your breath, keeping it steady here. Flexing the foot on the lifted leg, drawing the navel into the spine, softening areas where you don't need tension. So right elbow, face and jaw, neck. Set your left hand down just slightly ahead of the right and come over to your left hand and knee. Gracefully transition to modified half moon. Imagine your right fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. Foot is flexed on your lifted leg. Option to bend your knee, bringing that heel back towards your buttock, pressing the front of the right hip forward, or pressing your foot into the hand for more of a back bend and heart opener. And just pause and breathe. Relaxing your face. If you chose to grab the foot, release it, float it up. Right fingertips reach for the sky. And then as you exhale, take that right leg, step it all the way forward for a low lunge. And then just like you did on the first side, just kind of rocking towards that front leg and then back towards your back leg. Stretching into that left hip flexor as you shift forward, as you shift back, opening into your right hamstring. Just do that a few times. You can go as far as you'd like, modifying as you need to, tuning in to your body today. And then taking the hands to frame the foot on the front leg, belly draws in, plant your left hand, reach your right arm back. Looking at your fingertips with your eyes, turning the head and neck, nice gentle spine twist. Breathing, and then inhale, float both arms up, low lunge, settle into that front knee. And then as you exhale, drop your right arm down, reach your left arm up and over, side stretch on the left, right fingertips reach for the floor, deep breath in, reach both arms all the way up. As you exhale, twist to the left with wide arms. Spread your fingers nice and wide, counter twist. Deep breath in, both arms reach up. Exhale, plant your hands and step it back to tabletop. Go ahead and walk down to your forearms, tuck your toes under, lift your sit bones up and back for dolphin pose. So maybe stepping your feet in just slightly here. So similar to down dog in that you're creating that triangle shape through your body, paddling out the feet as that feels good for you, relaxing the head and neck, maybe shaking your head no or nodding it yes, just to let go of tension into the neck, raising up on your heels and melting them down if that feels good. Start to feel some length in the body here. Always welcome to come into tabletop puppy or child's pose if you need a break. Take a couple more breaths here in dolphin pose. And then shimmy the feet back and come to forearm plank. So you'll shift your shoulders over your elbows, draw the navel into the spine, press it to the middle part of your back. So really being mindful of that engagement of your core around your spine both front and back bodies, pressing into those shoulder blades, dropping your knees if you need to. Pause and breathe. And then as you exhale, step your feet in, returning to dolphin pose. Keeping your head and neck in line with your spine. Cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. And shimmy your feet back once again. Shift the shoulders over the elbows. Come back to forearm plank. And then set your knees down. Lower your hips down and come into sphinx pose. So sliding your elbows a little bit more forward. 
Press into your forearms, lift your chin up, open your heart. So lengthening and stretching through the abdominal muscles. Tops of the feet are flat, nice passive back bend here. So we'll do some engagement of our core to come back to forearm plank. So go ahead and pull up the bottom of your rib cage, your low belly, and then lift your knees up if that's available to you, coming back to forearm plank and breathe. And then we'll release knees, belly, rib cage, sphinx. So rounding up segmentally, rib cage, belly, knees, forearm plank, Notice your alignment, release knees, belly, rib cage, tops of the feet flat. Good, nice and slow, rib cage pulls in, belly, knees. Notice your alignment, press into that middle part of the back, belly draws in, and last time release knees, belly, rib cage. Look forward, pause and breathe. And then when you're ready, releasing your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under and find downward facing dog. Once again, just tuning in around the spine today. So your focus is on sending the sit bones up and back, letting the rest of your spine and body follow. Notice pressing into the hands and feet really grounding down through your palms, melting your heels in the direction of the floor, head and neck in line with your spine, relaxing your face and jaw, looking forward, take a walk up towards your hands and find forward fold at the top edge of your mat. And let's take a generous knee bend here. So really allowing your chest to come down to your thighs. You might even grab opposite elbows behind your knees today. So really rounding your spine. And if you choose to do that, relax the back of your neck and maybe play a little bit with shifting your weight toes to heels. Relax your face. Belly is in. And then let go of your elbows. Keep that forward fold, but just let your fingertips dangle for the floor. And now maybe just start to sway gently from side to side. Relax the back of your neck. Good. On your next inhale, lift up part way, flat back, halfway lift. Belly is in, shrug the shoulders down away from your ears, kind of sliding them down your back. As you exhale, round and fold generously, chest towards the thighs, bend your knees a lot. Inhale, lift up to a flat back, belly in. Exhale, round and fold. This time, press into your feet. Take your time to come all the way up. Pedal out the feet as you need to. Raise your arms up over your head. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Good, feet about a fist distance apart here. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up over your head and then take a steeple grip. So all fingers together, or interlacing all fingers but your first and your thumb. As you exhale, tip to the right, side stretch. Inhale, lift up to the center, lengthening both sides of the trunk. Exhale, tip to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, find mountain pose. Broad and lengthened across the collarbones. Belly is in, tail tucks under, palms are forward. Blink your eyes closed, allow yourself to be in your space. Notice what you feel as you come to standing. Notice any differences from side to side. Notice how you have your weight distributed. See if you can connect through the earth through all four corners of each foot. Take a cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Take a little back bend. Exhale, lead with your heart. Swan dive, forward fold. 
Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press through your feet, come all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, sweeping up, little back bend. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Come all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, toe heel your feet to touch. We're gonna do sun salutation B today. On an inhale, come into chair pose. So you're gonna sink your hips back, Keep your chest lifted, but find that slight tuck through the tailbone. Hands can be at heart center, shoulder height, or raising up. Try sinking a little bit lower if that's available to you. Drawing the navel into the spine. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank pose and pause. Set your knees down on the mat, lower halfway, low push-up, chaturanga. Release to your tummy, inhale, baby cobra or cobra pose. Exhale, navel to the spine, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one, hips to the front. Pivot the back heel to about 45 degrees. Lift your gaze. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank. From your toes or your knees, lower half weight, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend. Exhale, down dog. Ground through your hands and feet. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Reach through the foot. Exhale, step it forward, rise to warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, soft tops of the shoulders. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank pose. From your toes or your knees, that vinyasa series, halfway is chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking forward, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, mountain pose. Good, adding on. Inhale to chair. Good, sink a little bit lower, tail tucks under. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back to plank. Pause. Exhale, low push up, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Listen carefully. Take that right leg, sweep it under your left and keep those hips lifted. So you're pressing your hips back just like you do for down dog. Lower your hips as you would for plank and come over to your right hand, pivoting that left heel down, fall in starfish pose. So hips are high if you need to, you can bend that bottom knee and set it on the floor. Pause and breathe, left side of the pelvis lifts up. As you exhale, release the left hand Big inhale, sweep that right leg all the way up, three-legged dog. Exhale, send it forward, warrior one, rise. Good, pause and breathe. As you exhale, release your hands to your hips. Take a step in with that back leg and bring both knees straight. So we're gonna make our way to pyramid pose today. Stacking up your shoulders over your hips, take a breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna hinge at that hip crease and fold over your front leg. 
until you reach your end point where you feel a comfortable stretch in the back of the right thigh. You can use your leg as your prop here. If you have blocks, you can use those. Spread those toes nice and wide on both feet for stability. Relax the back of your neck. We're gonna take that left hand and keep it on the lower leg or wherever you have it. Shift your weight a little bit more onto your front leg and then take an inhale to float your right arm up. So you're rotating your heart towards the right wall. Revolve triangle. Pause and breathe. And then as you exhale, pyramid pose. Fold over that front thigh, micro bend in both knees, pause and breathe. As you inhale, lift up halfway to a flat back and we'll hike the elbows up nice and high here. So pull the belly in, hike the elbows up. Good activation through your legs and your midsection. As you exhale, fold into pyramid pose. One more time, lift up halfway, elbows high, belly in. This time as you exhale, release your hands all the way to the floor. Step it back to plank pose. Good, engage through your midsection here, lower halfway to chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. This is a good place to take a breather. So if you need a little breather in child's pose, tabletop, puppy pose, or grab some water. Otherwise, cleansing breath if you're doing okay here. We'll do that same series of poses on the second side. So checking in with yourself, noticing how you feel. making any adjustments that you might need to make for the second side. And then if you did come into a restorative pose, when you feel ready, making your way back up to downward facing dog. And then have your feet about hips distance apart, spread the fingers nice and wide. Cleansing breath here, yogis. Inhaling through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. On your next inhale, float your left leg high. Three-legged dog reaching into that foot. As you exhale, slide it underneath the right, bringing the outer edge of that left foot down, keeping your hips lifted. As you inhale, lower the hips as you would for plank. As you exhale, pivot that Bottom foot down and come over to your left hand. Fallen starfish, right fingertips reach for the sky. Please drop your bottom knee if you need to. Pause and breathe. Right side of the pelvis lifts up. As you exhale, right arm down. As you exhale, press your hips back. Big inhale, left leg high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward. Warrior one. Soft tops of the shoulders, lift your gaze. As you exhale, hands to the hips, step your back foot in and find soft, straight knees. Heart is lifted, take a breath. As you exhale, hinge at your hip crease, find pyramid pose. Side two, relax the back of the neck. Think about directing some breath into the back of the thighs here. Really creating some stability in your body by using your toes. So spreading your toes nice and wide or separating your feet a little bit more for better balance. We'll shift a little bit more weight onto the front foot. Leave the right hand on the lower leg or wherever it is. Take a breath in and send your left arm up, twisting your heart to the left wall. Revolve triangle, micro bend in both knees. Relax your face.
As you exhale, pyramid pose. Relax the back of your neck. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Remember, we're not creating pain or discomfort. Finding a gentle stretch. Next, as you breathe in, lift up part way. Elbows nice and high, flat back, belly in. Exhale, round and fold over that leg. Relax the back of the neck. Continuing to breathe, inhale, lift up halfway, elbows high, belly in. This time as you exhale, take your hands all the way down to the mat. Big step back to plank pose. Breathe in. As you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high. Spread your fingers nice and wide, ground through your hands and feet. Notice how you feel. Looking forward, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, mountain pose. Good, inhale to chair, sink low. Take your left leg and find a figure four position over your right leg for modified eagle. So if it's available to you, a little single leg balance, hands are pressed together at heart center, reach your fingertips in the direction of the floor as low as you feel comfortable, and then hands back up to heart center. So you're getting a little glute and outer hip stretch, Little bit of length through that outer hip and glute. Little bit of balance on that right leg. Good. As you exhale, stand up slowly. Take that top leg, reach it all the way back. Warrior two. Open up. Looking over that front hand. Relax your face. Good, as you exhale, step forward, come back to the top of your mat, mountain pose. Kind of circling out that standing leg. Good, inhale, chair pose, hands to heart center, tailbone tucks. Shift your weight to the left foot, figure four, right leg on top, sink it low. Chest is lifted, tail is tucked. If it's available to you, reach fingertips for the floor. And then bring them back up to heart center. Keep that single leg stability. Relax through your hip and thigh. Pause and breathe. Belly in. One more inhale. As you exhale, stand up slowly. Top leg reaches all the way back. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, looking over that front hand. Relax the tops of your shoulders. Knee over the ankle on that front leg. Good, one more inhale. As you exhale, step it forward, mountain pose. Breathe in, sweep your arms up, little back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep it up, little back bend. This time, exhale, ride your breath all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, lift up, flat back. Exhale, fold, take a seat. This time, coming all the way down to the middle part of your mat. We'll keep the feet on the mat. Float your palms up and take your time. Come all the way down to your back. Once you're on your back, take a full body stretch. So let your legs extend out, reach your arms up over your head. Just lengthening out through the abdominal muscles here. Couple of nice cleansing breaths. Allowing as much of your back body to contact the floor as you're able. And then as you exhale, let your arms come back down at your sides. Step your feet in. 
and take your feet a little bit wider, just slightly wider than hips width and let your knees drop in to support each other. So a little bit of support for the back. As you inhale, I want you to raise your arms up over your head. See if you can let the back of your hands touch the floor. And then as you exhale, arms come back down at your sides. Good, two more times. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, backs of the hands touch the floor, up over your head. Exhale, arms come down back at your sides. One more time, inhale, floating the arms up. Exhale, releasing the arms down. Next time as you inhale, take your arms up to goalpost arms or just loosely let your fingertips come behind your head. This time, let your knees come out so they're just over your hips and just start to windshield wiper the legs. Right side and then left side. Just loosening up through the hips, stretching into the side bodies a little bit. Keeping your shoulder blades connected to the mat. If you're tight or you're pretty tight through the shoulders or the chest, then you might notice that your elbows don't come to the floor and that's fine. Just do your best to open the chest and shoulders as much as you feel comfortable and try to keep your shoulder blades connected to the mat. The next time you let your legs drop to the right side, we'll pause here, turn and look to the left. Couple of nice deep breaths, maybe allowing your eyes to close. Inhale, slowly bringing the knees back up. Exhale, legs to the left. Gaze to the right, close your eyes. Notice how you feel right now as we prepare for the end of our practice, our final relaxation. Couple of nice, deep, mindful breaths, letting go of any remaining tension. Slowly bringing the knees back up to center, and then grabbing one or both knees, pulling them in towards the chest, and just rocking gently from side to side, massaging out the low back. Taking any other poses that might feel good for the end of your practice here. And when your practice is complete, making your way into your final relaxation pose, Shavasana or any variation. Remember that if you're not comfortable in traditional Shavasana on your back, you're always welcome to come into another restorative, relaxing pose of your choice, which might be just rolling onto your side, sitting in a chair, whatever works for you. So heart is open, eyes are closed, or gaze is lowered. Breathe in deeply through the nose. Big, heavy sigh through the mouth. Let the breath all the way out. Surrender to your mat. Let the breath be easy and effortless. Let the mind chatter on pause. Let the body be still. Take a few moments to rest.
begin to deepen your breath. Open and close your hands. Wiggle your toes. Just gently bring your awareness back into the space. Bending one or both knees up, choose a side to roll over onto. Curling yourself up there just briefly. Using your arm for a support for your head and neck. And then once you feel ready, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Taking your time. Lengthening the spine and bringing the hands together at heart center. Drop your chin down. Take one deep breath into your heart. Yogis, I thank you each for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. Thank you. You bet. Have a great rest of your day. Yep, you too. Bye. Bye-bye.